everybody, how are we doing today? In this video, I go to this lady's house. Her significant other used to come to my auctions, and unfortunately he passed away. And she wanted to know if there's anything I could come over there and try maybe to buy or sell for her. So guy had a very eclectic collection of stuff. And uh, you guys won't believe the things I find there. You also won't believe the house. And it's an interesting, interesting one. Trust me, you're going to watch it from beginning to end. And like I said, in this business, you just never know when that phone call comes, what you're going to go see, what you're going to go find. And it's always, always mystery. There's always things you've never seen before. That's why I love what I do. I hope you guys love watching what I do. If you guys do, don't forget to subscribe. It's the easiest thing to do. It's free. Hit the bell. Get all your notifications. You guys don't want to miss a thing. And you got to check out our website. It's www.secondsense.com. And... Trust me, wait do you see what this guy collected. Yep, yep, they got, oh, so, that lamp, the birds, the Fabergé egg. So are you going to take a brochure with you of him? Or? Yeah, I grabbed one. Okay. Because that's going to do, like, a lot, um, you know, like honoring him. Uh huh. Because he was he was well known. I mean, we had a booth at Antiques and Uniques for eight years, and he kind of was like a personal shopper, sort of. Yeah, pick up stuff for people. Well, he bought black stuff, but you know, and then people would buy from him, and so a lot of this. A lot of the stuff that's here is mine or combined ours, 17 years. Um, us downtown. Rice Gate downtown. Um, gold medalist, USA gold medalist, Scott Hamilton. Oh, wow. Nice skater, Scott Hamilton. Yeah, he does a lot of good stuff for people. Um, well, yeah. And I said, God bless you to him. Oh, here we are at Harry Buffler downtown. Um, dressed Narcissa Malfoy and Lucius Malfoy of Harry Potter. <laughs> did horrible, did horrible at the trivia. He couldn't help me, but we got six dollars off our shots and our food. So. That's cool. A bunch of stuff in the basement, huh? Oh, in the garage, in the van. Okay. Yeah, I'm allergic to cats. Mom painted that. Like um, she, uh, Your mom painted that? Yeah, my mom did. Um, she had um, Holy art. Stuff. Worthington Art League has a bunch of her paintings. I have her paintings. I'm not parting with them. Yeah, I would never part with that. No. That's a like, watercolor, beautiful. Yeah. That that's that's probably by far. Um, I like how she did the lights. Obviously, light. it's a favorite. I like how the lights are coming off the street lights and how she has that done and the lights off the car and everything. It's awesome. That's what the other appraiser who was here said. Yeah. And I'm like, no, sorry. <laughs> not, not parting with mom's work. Um, let me see what else. Um, the metal thing back there is not for sale. That's a family heirloom. Um, so that's not for sale. Most of this is my miscellaneous stuff. That I don't think is other than did you take pictures of the metal yeah. things? Okay, is it still raining? Because I was hoping you were going to get here before it rained. Oh, yeah, it's not raining. Because I don't, I don't know about this stuff in the van because I don't think that would be where valuables would be. Right. Okay, right. Yeah, right in the basement or garage. So, um, sorry. Oh, kids. Um, that's, that's Cliff named him Pumpkin Crinkle. Pumpkin, Pumpkin Crinkle. Crinkle. Because he has a crooked neck. Oh. He showed up over a year ago. We don't know how old he is. We think he belonged to a neighbor who was deceased. Wow. Um, this is Boots. He's 14. He's 14 years old. What about tools and stuff? Mm -hmm. still okay, then I gotta lock the door and you can get to the backyard. Not gonna do the garage because because you need you're gonna need at least 
one to two hours back up this way. Back to the kitchen. Oh, okay. But it's like, like I'm super overwhelmed and, you know, like, might be raining. Oh, oh yeah. Now it's raining it's too. Picking up, of course. Well, um, but anyways, there's three extension ladders back there. There's a table saw. Um, there's um tree belts right here, tree climbing belts. Oh yeah, I see. That I was told that I could get like two hundred fifty dollars. I haven't showered yet, so I don't mind. So I, I was told that the tree climbing belt was worth like 250 bucks each around that. Um, would be like the table saw and some things back there. There's three extension ladders that was open for like 75 each. Um, the ladder that's got the same to get the third, but I can't carry it. Definitely um, see, he let, he let that cool lamp go to crash. A little pee-pee boy, but, um, he left him out all winter, so he lost his, lost his top. Yeah. <clears throat> um, there's the broken, the broken lamp where the oil used to come out, and he tried to fix it. Oh, this one? Yeah, the old oil lamps, those are nice. Uh, so it's in the garage tools, or? Oh, the garage is full of paintings and my stuff, our stuff from when we lived in Columbus and all <laughs> kinds of other stuff. And I kept trying to tell him you need to sell your inventory. I found out that he, his heart pills were a year expired. And he was 59 and he left me with a mask. Yeah. And I physically just can't move the stuff. So I have a bunch of health problems. Well, there's the broken hot tub we can have. <laughs> well, it's the motor that needs to be replaced. It's not worth $400 for me to do. Yeah, you definitely need a... Okay, he's got these tabletop that might have been worth something, but... Oh, they were maps, it looks like, yeah. They were, they were cool maps. <laughs> and, like I said, stuff went to shit. Um, but the table saw... The table saw's under there, so... Yeah, wood furniture, unfortunately. Yeah, that's all garbage, unfortunately. It's like this piece. It's been out too long in the weather. Yeah. That's furniture on there, okay. unfortunately. Do you think it's worth anything? Nope. It's that thing? Yeah, it's all been. Once it sits outside like this, it's pretty much roached out. Unfortunately, it's like these things here, you know, sitting in the okay, elements. So, because they got out in the elements, they Yeah, like all the uh, furniture is all, when you look at it, it's starting to rot and weathered. So it's not worth... And not worth... Well, why he bought this stuff makes no sense to me. Probably right, because it was a good deal. Why most people buy stuff. You can't pass up a good deal, right? Oh, gosh, you had to say that, yes, unfortunately. That's nice, I like unfortunately, it. Unfortunately, yeah, and then he brings back free stuff. Um, anyway, so, yeah, there's the computers, the computer graveyard. A computer graveyard? Oh, these were lights. Huh. Um, well, I take it 
take a piece of I don't of the know garage. about the Viking stool, the blue stool. The Vikings. But the stove needs to go. Do you sell them things? Sometimes, yeah. That's a lovely. So, it's super heavy. heavy. That one works. This one is for the neighbors. What's so, underneath so this one? I don't think either one of those neighbors are for the What's this? That's a clothing rack. It needs to have jewelry on it. Mm. What, what else we got to look at? Um, well, see, I'm not sure that these. But these should go anywhere because these are like some sort of design or whatever and I like them. Yeah. So. They're different for sure. Um, like think, spaghetti chairs or something. Yeah, I think there's some sort of... I'm not, I don't know if there's some sort of... Unfortunately, all these belts sitting outside. Yeah, that's some paper. Music, sheet music. Sheet music and... See anything just from when you open it? I, I don't know. It's just a nightmare for me. It's more like a kind of basement we go. Yeah, he tried, he tried to save it, and like the next week, somebody killed it with their car. Oh my gosh. Killed the uh, cat with the car? I guess. Power was out, and you know, black people, uh, you know, have no regard for. Things. So um, you can get to getting with taking photos of all these paintings. Um, Oof, yellow paintings. There's lots of paintings, pictures. Like I said, his family doesn't seem to be interested. He's trying to get his sister to fly out here and get a moving van and haul this crap back. Got a walk, huh? And so far, so far there's not much luck. Because, you know, I mean, I'm staying in the house for now. And, you know, his, fa his family considers me family. to do with the four-day hospital stay at Metro Health. And then he was taking three different blood pressure lowering pills. I don't know when he stopped taking them or which ones. One of them he was supposed to post and monitor and he didn't. Most, mostly the prized things or the pictures and paintings. Is my guy. But I can't believe like half of his retirement that's spent on all this crap. It's like. Yeah, it would be nice if he would have bought gold coins. A lot easier oh, to move. Well, a lot easier to move. I stupidly took the gold coins and um, used them to buy cigarettes. Uh, uh, that was that, that was kind of a stupid. Thing. I've already taken some jewelry to a pawn shop. Unfortunately, I only got like fifty bucks. And then some other stuff I took to a painful flea market and sold. And of course, the fine. His fine jewelry that I found, I hid. I hid so well, hid it so well from myself. Huh. Because I'm like, I don't know if somebody's going to show up here looking for stuff, you know. So, um, but there's all those pictures and antiques, broken glass. I would say most of this 
stuff with my stuff. There's a whole other thing for change. Yeah, I know. I'm working. It's like on my it. house. Change everywhere. Oh, oh, do you do that too? I just have change here. Yeah, change. Oh, I always empty my pockets out. My, I had the kids roll it up one time, and that was it. That's right. Oh, damn it! I should have asked you to bring me some paper rolls. So I, I need paper rolls for um, nickels and dimes. Well, I'm looking. Well, you missed this whole wall over here. I'll, I'll be back. Oh, you cannot have the chest set. No chest set. Look at that. Spider ox. Oh, I hate having arthritis. Okay. Oh, you're back there. That's good. Thankfully, one of my friends came over and helped move those away from the hot water. All these? Yeah, I had them next to be careful of the hot water tank. Careful of the hot water tank. That thing can go... It lost its bottom, I think. Plates and cups can go. I care less about that crap. Now, I ended up buying a few things. I found this awesome, awesome painting. I'm keeping it for myself. It's dated like 1852. Here's the signature on the painting, but my phone ended up dying when I was there. I also ended up buying this statue. Very cool. No mark on it, though. And then this old, old clarinet made in Paris, but I don't think it's all original pieces. And now I'm going back to the place. These mid-century modern booths are pretty cool, but uh, I don't kind of tough to sell, and they're sitting outside. How are we doing? <laughs> Watch out for the hall. Trying not to fall in we the hall. We got the moat. Trying not to fall in the hall. Bricks there because those bricks are like super heavy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. See them? They're super heavy. Well, so, welcome to the backyard. Was there anything you wanted to take with you? Out of the backyard? Not that I remember. No. I got some good news for you. And the good news is... There's another 20 bucks. Ooh, for... That lamp you gave me. Oh, the lamp? Yeah, the one when you gave me, the one guy he wanted to buy, so he gave me 40 bucks for it, so I'll give you 20 out of it. Uh, cool. That's good, because I gave yes. you that for free. That's, that's what I figured. You gave it to me for free, so I might as well give you the mo half the money for it. Oh, that's cool. I don't know what the problem was. Something with the battery. It was something with the battery. What about this furniture? Yeah, like I said, it's too far gone, unfortunately, sitting out here. <clears throat> it all got destroyed. Weathered you don't want to look at it and take it? I wish it wasn't sitting out weathered. I, I, well, yeah, it's getting more and more weathered. And yeah, I like can't, that thing's just, you know what I'm saying? I can't take it to the flea market. Yeah, that thing came apart. It's just but too far no, gone. But no, it's that. And it can't muscle. Like, that? remember, I think I was telling you, and so I couldn't move, I couldn't move, like this, I mean, back spasms and the worst pain, you don't ever want to injure that because that moves your neck, your arms, your twisting. That brought some lights. And here, but, oh, uh, this, this upsets me and depresses me when I, the last time I was in here, I, I found his old work ID. Then, then when was I, when you brought up the scrapbook that I was looking for, which was good, because I had to go through and pull out photos and um, pack things up to send to his mom and to his sisters, because I know they're going to want old photos. And, you know, for right now, you know, I'm staying here for free. Because I'm doing his mom a favor, plus this is his and my home. Oh, God, it sticks in here so bad. So I'll either give you a yay, a nay, and or for cash. So, what the heck is this? 
Oh my god. I just. Oh, it, bo it boggles my mind. You have no idea how bad it follows my mind. He put on the boots on this thing. And the house. He bought all this real cheap. The house property. Yeah, the one time everything got cheap. And now everything's so crazy expensive. But you wouldn't, you, you know, I trusted you without knowing you to come in the house. And then you saw that the house needs a lot of repair. And, you know, I've been here since 2007. And there's my waterbed rail. Good old here. waterbed. Yeah, you need to get rid of my mattresses in Columbus. So I don't even. But he was bragging to somebody, I got 2,000 paintings. He's got a lot of paintings for sure. And I'm like, great, what the. What am I going to do with them? I'm going to keep on calling you and other auction houses because. You know, I got, I got to spread it out. Yeah, you need to. Because, you know, dip, different ones do different things. True. Different clientele. And totally different clientele. And, you know, I, I don't know about me having a vendor space or not. And, you know, I, I don't want to buy the house. Which is understandable. Well, not now that I'm finding what's wrong. Oh yeah, are you gonna take that old icky doll? I, I mean. Which doll? You have to look at it. It could be. You don't know. That's but, but it could have been because, you know, he would make me watch some of those paranormal shows against my will. And I'm like, well, how can I, I can't have people from antiques and uniques come in here to buy this stuff because it's dangerous. Like, I don't know how, you know. And I can't move back to Columbus where, my, where I still have friends because all of my stuff from our old apartments is in the far back corner. And it's like, well, I don't even know. See, he just... kept on buying. Yeah, I know that. I did not do anything about it. Other than just sit at the computer. I got tons of artwork and myself and myself that's just sitting around my building from all the houses and everything I've cleaned out. Well yeah, but I mean not just, all of it's stuff you wanna keep, is it? Oh I don't know. No, I don't wanna keep it. It's just sitting there. I should be selling it. I shouldn't be here buying stuff. That's what I should Or looking at stuff. <laughs> I got a whole building. You should see my building. 18,000 square foot filled. Well, but I'm sure it's much more organized. No. I wish. This is really... It's a nice frame. Holy smoke. There's a lot of pains. Uh -oh. There goes my watch clock. Oh, this is the creepy doll you're talking about? Is this the creepy doll you're talking about? Yes, the crazy doll. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta take her with you. Oh, you need some ties? <laughs> I used to wear a tie every day. Oh, this field is dangerous wear a tie. <laughs> this is dangerous. Enough. It is. It's more dangerous than people think.
Nothing is good. All I do is it goes horrible. I can imagine losing my wife. You know, my, you know, close sister who I'm close to, you know, she's like, well, you Generators, you cannot take the refrigerators. No problem. Okay. What's that? Old book? What's in there? DVDs and VHS. Uh, Here's a trophy. What's that? A memory of the Pearl, favorite 40. Whose trophy? I don't know, it's a street ride. I Wait, like what's it, it saying? I don't know. I might just bought it because he likes it. I, I don't know if he... Well, he did get a trophy, but it got trashed. It felt, was cheap. It fell apart for his um, car beds at a car show. And I have photos of this really cool car he used on the long Craft bar. Oh, see, and what am I supposed to do with the old table parts? Um, yeah. Yeah, I need to try to get as much money as I can. Like, seriously. Oh, that's my old glass table. That looks like there's really some good paintings in here. There's a lot of paintings, for sure. And there's some... Art's one of those things that it speaks to you, you know? It's art and it keeps its value or it goes up. Most of the time, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. If it was worth something in the beginning. There's a lot of artists. I'm not sure if me being at the flea market caused my eczema. And I keep reading online. And they say, like, some of it has to do with emotional, and I'm having, you know, real, uh, Definitely some emotional. Definite emotional. Um, because of the grief. And so, you know, they say that stress and you know they don't say grief they just say depression and but then again then eczema gets aggravated by even more more stuff but see when he was alive i didn't have the eczema break out very often other than i kept complaining that he needs to have air conditioning in his vehicles yeah i could see that because I was already attacked by a wasp. I was attacked by three. Three wasps? Yes. That's horrible. Three, three days after he died, I get bit by our, by the semi-feral cat. Oh. And I had to get on antibiotics, two different ones. And... Yeah. So that started it. Yeah, bit you? Yeah. Why they, the cat bite? Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm for life. I'm still dealing with that and then the eczema. And it, it's like which is which is causing the worst problem? The grief or the eczema? I don't know. But you know, and then People are like, well, you know, you should be over this by now. I'm not going to be over well, it. Well, people that tell you that, they're, they're it's, stupid. It was a 17-year relationship. Well, people that tell you that are just stupid anyways because everybody's different. And some people, you, know, you might never get over it. It's just one of those things. It's, grief is different for everybody. And someone to tell you how to grieve or you should get over it. You know what I'm saying? 
it's yeah, stuff. they're different for everybody. But you know, it's like his older sister has cancer. Okay, well, you know, his family gave her her way all the time because, oh, she has cancer. Well, look. She's had cancer for 10 fucking years. Look, Cliff suddenly died. Explain that shit to me. You know? Why is she still alive and he's not? Yeah, that's... It makes zero sense. It makes zero sense to me. And that's not right. You know, and I'm like, well, did he have some procedure and... And he got the graphene oxide poison without knowing he got it. That's possible. Which is possible, but the death certificate says it was natural causes. Yeah, I don't think that's likely. But his dad died when he was 75. So Cliff should have lived to be older than 75. He should have lived to be 60. No guarantees in this world. But you know, the the only way I was gonna get out of the horde of stuff was for him to die. It was so much better when he had his professional job and a lot of money, and this whole thing would be so much smaller. I can't believe he he spent his savings and everything. Oh, uh, trying to lay the guilt trip on me. Well, you have to pay your share of the bills, blah, blah, blah. Meanwhile, he's keeping his secrets of all this shit he keeps buying. So you need to be hauling a whole bunch of this crap out of here, Robert. <laughs> yes, you do. Listen, I would call the time of like 5 or 5 to 8 p.m. is mosquito o'clock. <laughs> I could see that. The mosquitoes are a part of one, but I have no room for the house, and I'm not going to do it. It was supposed to be something maybe he and I would do. What are ice cream makers? Oh, uh, no, tons. See, I kind of wanted to have, like, my own <coughs> pickers, and part of it was, I think he was hoping that he could get the American pickers to come to our house. <laughs> yeah, you gotta buy some motorcycles for that. Well, yeah. Those guys. I sold the Mike Wolf a Harley. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, his voice breaks on my every Many night. years ago. His voice breaks on my every nerve. <laughs> I don't know what it is about his voice. I know, some people do not like it. I don't know what it was about his voice, but he was just all struggling. You know, I have no idea what to do with half this stuff. Table saws, sawzall, I don't know how to use any of that, any power tools. More old wood, the old wooden wood saw. Well, it's not that old, it's like 1950. You know, and I keep trying to tell his family, well, the only valuables he's got are big paintings. Come and get them. but there's a lot of artists and fortunately a lot aren't worth much. Getting to the nudes.
Wow, wow, wow. Unbelievable. All these paintings and all this other stuff. I got some cool pieces from there. And I wish I could take it all. I wish I could sell it off where I put her in contact with some other people that I know. And just amazing, amazing collection. Picture of that ship from the 1800s. The brass propeller. Some awesome pieces of artwork. The white or the red star advertising piece I got for my wife. Some awesome, awesome things. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks again. Don't forget, thumbs up. Watch all the other videos from beginning to end and have a wonderful, wonderful day.